hi and welcome back. I've just got a short video for you this week. After last week was quite a long one, this week is going to be quite a short one. And the reason they're varying in length quite a bit at the moment is because I'm trying to tie them in with places I've been and go and what sort of makes sense with also the off the cut videos. So, long one last week because it tied in with the off the cut at Western. Well, this week it's quite a short one because next week I'm going to be going through Harecastle Tunnel. So, I'm going to have a video linked with going through Harecastle Tunnel and also some of the history around Harecastle Tunnel and a look at the old tunnel. So, this week is going to be quite a short one leading up to me going through Harecastle Tunnel, if that all makes sense. Well, anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this week's video. Good morning. Just started the engine. You find me here this morning board up Balston. Time to make a move. I'm going to try and do all the soap blocks today. It was raining earlier. I thought I was going to be sat here for the day, but it's brightened up a little bit. Well, at least it stopped raining anyway. So I'm going to make a move along with me for the journey. So let's get going. First of all, I'll go and more, or whatever it's called these days. That's what I heard someone call it the other day. I call it casting off. So let's go. Once the rope's all untied, put away, tidied up, time to make a move. Unfortunately, a boat just went past me as I was just about to move off. So I'm going to have the locks all set against me. So I'm going to have my work cut out. Hopefully there'll be a few boats coming down as well, which will help out. But we'll see. If not, I'll have my work cut out. Never mind. I don't mind it. the Wedgwood factory. Well worth a visit actually, a fantastic museum of old pottery. I recommend it to anyone to go and visit it 
I have got a video up online somewhere about it. I'll put the link in the description below. Well, I just remembered if I'm going to do Stoke locks today, Stoke on Trent locks, I need to take my chimney down. It won't fit under the rail bridges up there. Just to undo this. Just in case it rains, I'll put my little cap on. Actually, I can't put my little cap on yet, it's too hot. So I'm gonna leave it up here ready so I can put it on. It's still a bit warm at the moment. Well, if you're needing some refreshment, come and see Barton Booze here. Let's soak on Trent. Maybe they do hot dogs and all sorts of things as well. And moored right in front of them is the oat cake boat. Very delicious they are too. I sampled them in stone last year. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Well, next I have Stoke Locks in front of me and I was intending to do some filming going up Stoke Locks. Things weren't looking too nice. There was, um, we should just say some unsavoury characters around. And I was feeling a little bit, well, not scared, but apprehensive, especially about my property rather than myself. So I locked the cameras inside the boat and locked the doors whilst I was doing the locks. I had heard of someone trying to jump on a boat just before I got there and uh, was obviously looking for money or whatever. Obviously, um, looking for drugs or alcohol or whatever they were looking for. They did get off very quickly when they were confronted by the other boaters, apparently. I don't want that to happen, so the boat stays locked until I reach the top. Well, that's Stoke Locks done. Stoke on Trent, that is. That's the Golden Canal up over there. I was thinking about mooring up here at Victoria. I've changed my mind. I'm going to go up to Westport Lake. I didn't film anything coming up the locks. Um, shall we just say there were some savoury characters that are around? I actually locked up both ends of the boat when I was doing the locks and I put the cameras away. Sometimes you just have to be careful, don't you? Then quite luckily, Rob the Lock came along and he helped me up the last uh, three or four locks, so that was really helpful. Uh, really good news that was when Rob the Lock came along. I'll put, I'll put Rob the Lock's phone number at the bottom, so if you're ever up and down in this flight or any of the flights around here, you can give him a call. They'll come and help you for a, for a drink. As we go past the Middleport Pottery here, I'll just let you know I do have another video up where I actually went for a walk around Middleport Pottery a year or so ago. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the bottom in the description so you can go and visit it. Otherwise, I'm just going to skip past and just show you a little bit as we go past today. Well, I've now arrived at Westport Lake. And uh, I'm going to stay here for the night. Probably be getting up quite early in the morning. I want to get up towards the uh, Harecastle Tunnel and do a little filming there before I go through. And you can go through in the mornings without booking. If you book to go through the tunnel, you go through in the afternoons. But you take your chance, you know, if you turn up in the morning and it's too busy. Well, you wait till the next day, don't you? I'm not in a hurry to be anywhere, so I haven't booked. So tomorrow, I should be heading up towards the tunnel. That's bringing me to the end of this little short video, I'm afraid. So it wasn't very long, but it ties in there with tomorrow's trip through the tunnel. So, of course, a big thank you goes out to all my supporters of the channel. That includes everybody for watching, subscribing, Patreon, PayPal, Super Thanks. 
and any other way in which you support the channel. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And click the old bell notification button and the all options. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. If not, there should be a video every Saturday at 4pm and every Wednesday at 4pm. And occasionally I'll put another odd one in here and there uh, for some odd things, little short videos I might do. Well, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor Oates.